Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is DHCP guarding. So if you are unfamiliar with what DHCP guarding is, is it runs on your switch and it watches the broadcast traffic, the network traffic, and it's looking for DHCP servers. And what what we're going to do is we're going to tell our switch, this is the IP address of our DHCP server. Don't allow any other DHCP servers besides this one to broadcast and hand out DHCP. So you're going to use this when you want to make sure that only your DHCP server is going to hand out IP addresses on your network. And it's usually a pretty good idea to do this, but you've got to be careful and you've got to remember that, that you've done it. I've run into situations with folks who they've used it, they have a network issue, maybe their firewall is not handing out the IP addresses and they've swapped out you know, other, other devices and um, you know, they are, they're trying to figure out why DHCP is not working and turns out it's, it's DHCP guarding. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this in our Unify setup, but it works on a lot of other models. It, it's not just limited to Unify. This is not a, a ubiquity thing. This is kind of a, a standard thing, right? So here we are. We're over at a UDR and we're going to go to networks and we could create a new network or, you know, edit a network. But what we'll do is I'll just, I'll take this network, for example, and we're going to scroll down. And right here is a checkbox under the DHCP option. If we highlight over the tooltip, it says protects against rogue DHCP servers by only permitted permitting trusted ones. So we would click this box and what it's going to do then is it's going to ask us for the IP address of the trusted DHCP server. Now you can have multiple DHCP servers. Now this is done per VLAN. So this is our 192.168.3 and the UDR happens to be handing out DHCP. So in this case, if we only want the UDR to be handing out DHCP, we would hit uh, enter 192.168.3.1 and we would hit uh, add, and then apply changes. And now only 192.168.3.1 can hand out IP addresses on this VLAN. If you plug anything else in to this VLAN, this it's going to kill it, right? It's it's not it's not going to let IP addresses be handed out. So you have to remember what you're doing. Uh, you can also, even if it's 192.168.3.1, a lot of times it's also going to map it uh, to, it could map it to the MAC address in the background as well. So even if you swap gateways, depending on how things are configured, it may, it may not work just because the IP address is the same. So you just have to look at how it's, it's implemented as well. So right now, if, someone were to plug another router, the LAN port of another router into this a port that is configured for this VLAN, it is not going to allow the, the DHCP from that device to work. So it's, it's pretty simple, and it's actually a pretty decent security mechanism. So if you've got any questions about it, let me know down in the comments. Uh, people... Sometimes uh, skip over this. People you know, want to know what it is. This is what it is. Very simple to configure. Very easy to use. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see me do DHCP guarding configuration on other vendors, let me know that down in the comments. And as always, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links. Uh, and a Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And if you need IT consulting, your network needs a tune-up, voice over IP, storage, security, wireless, wired, all the things, head on over to willyhow.com. 
fill out the contact form. If we can't help you, we'll refer you to a vendor who can. That's our promise to you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.